Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. Today we're going to talk about solving systems of linear inequalities. And we're going to solve these by graphing. So you're going to need some graph paper. Now if you don't have any graph paper, you can go to my website, www.mastermath.info, and you can get some graph paper there. Go to the Lessons tab, and on the Lessons tab page, you'll see a link for plain graph paper. Hit that link, a sheet of graph paper will come up, and you can print as many copies of that as you'd like. And you'll use that to help understand what a system of linear inequalities is, how to solve a system of linear inequalities, and how to graph systems of linear inequalities. We've covered graphing linear inequalities in earlier lessons and if you haven't watched those earlier lessons you may want to go back and watch that now. If you have watched them, let's review it real quickly. If I've got the inequality y is greater than 2x plus 2 and I want to graph it, first I need a sheet of graph paper. And then I want to change that inequality into an equation y equals 2x plus 2. Now I want to graph that line y equals 2x plus 2. And it's in slope intercept form. So I know that the y intercept is positive 2 and I know that the slope is positive 2. So I can graph that equation and it'll look just like that. Well that's our boundary line. We now have the boundary line for the inequality y is greater than 2x plus 2. But do we want to leave it as a line? Because when we leave it as a line, that says that every point that falls on that line satisfies the inequality. But the inequality says we only want answers that are greater than 2x plus 2, not equal to 2x plus 2. So we need to change that line to a dotted line. Now all we have to do is figure out whether we shade above that line or below that line. And we're looking for a solution set that includes y values that are greater than 2x plus 2. So we're going to want to shade above that boundary line. Well you've done that before and it's not that complicated, but what if we added a second inequality? Now we have a system of inequalities. We have a system of linear inequalities. y is greater than 2x plus 2 and also y is less than or equal to minus x minus 4. Well let's just dive right in and graph that second inequality. y is less than or equal to minus x minus 4. And the first thing we'll do is change it into an equation so we can graph the boundary line. y equals minus x minus 4. My y-intercept is minus 4. My slope is minus 1. So my boundary line is going to look just like that. Now, the inequality is y is less than or equal to minus x minus 1. So the values on the, on the boundary line are where y equals minus x minus 1. So we'll want to leave that as a, as a continuous line, a solid line, and not change it to a dashed line. Now we have to figure out whether we want to paint above that line or below that line. Well, it says y is less than or equal to minus x minus 4. So we'd want to paint below that line. And when we do that, we can see that where our two paint jobs overlap is an area that's more or less orange, and that is the solution set 
to the system of linear equations, y is greater than 2x plus 1, or excuse me, plus 2, and y is less than or equal to minus x minus 4. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. You're going to need to graph both of these inequalities, and the first thing you'll do is graph the boundary line for each inequality. And normally, after you've graphed the boundary line, you're going to shade in either above or below that boundary line in order to show where your solution set is. But when you've got a system of linear inequalities, you may want to just draw arrows from the boundary line indicating whether your solution set is above it or below it. And when you do that, you'll probably be able to identify what area is the solution set to both equations. Where would the solution sets overlap? And then you can color in that section, and you'll be done. Now, go ahead and try this problem. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit your forward key to move on to my answer. All right, we're going to have to graph these two inequalities to find out where the solution set is. What are the values of x and y that satisfy both of these inequalities at the same time? So let's graph y is less than 2x minus 4 first. And we'll first graph the boundary line, y equals 2x minus 4. Our y-intercept is minus 4. Our slope is positive 2. So that boundary line is going to look just like that. Now we got to convert that to an inequality. And the inequality is y is less than 2x minus 4, not y is less than or equal to. So it's only values below that line, not values on that line, that satisfy the inequality. So we want to change that line to a dashed line. Now we have to fill in either above or below that line to indicate that our solution set is either above or below the line. And the inequality is y is less than 2x minus 4. So we'd want to color in underneath that line. Now, let's draw the other boundary line. y equals x plus 2. Our y-intercept is 2. Our slope is 1. So our boundary line is going to look just like that. Again, it's y is greater than, not greater than or equal to. So we don't want to include the answers that are on the boundary line, and we have to convert that boundary line to a dashed line. Now we have to decide whether we want to color above or below that line. And since the inequality is y's that are greater than x, we'd want to color above that line. And you can see that our solution set is just this little sliver off to the bottom left of the graph. Well, what would you do if you were given a graph showing a solution set to two inequalities, and you were asked to determine what these linear, linear inequalities were? We can look at this graph, and we can see that that is the solution set to the system of uh, inequalities, that this line represents the boundary line, and everything below it represents one of the solution sets to one of the uh, uh, inequalities. And this boundary line and this blue area up here represents the solution set to the other inequality. So all we got to do is identify this inequality and this inequality, and we'll solve the problem. First, let's solve what this boundary line right here is and figure out what the inequality is. The boundary line is y equals 4, because it's a line where y always equals 4, no matter what x equals. Now it's an inequality, and it's a solid line, so it's going to be um, uh, uh, either uh, less than and equal to or greater than and equal to, and it's all the numbers below that line. 
So the inequality is y is less than or equal to 4. Now the other line, the other boundary line, crosses the y-axis at 10, right up here at 10. And it has a slope of negative 1. It rises 1 and runs negative 1. So my slope is negative 1. My y-intercept is 10. My boundary line is y equals 10 minus x or minus x plus 10. And I've got a dotted line. So this is not a greater than or equal to or a less than or equal to. It's a greater than or less than. It doesn't include the values on that boundary line, just the values, in this case, above the, 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 the boundary line. So the inequality is y is greater than 10 minus x. And our system of equations, our system of inequalities, is y is less than or equal to 4, and y is greater than 10 minus x. Well, why don't you try this one? It's a little more complicated, isn't it? I see three boundary lines. So that means there's three inequalities that I've got to identify. Go ahead and try it. Hit your pause button. Try the problem, and then hit your forward key to move on to my answer. Okay, we've got a shaded area in red there that's defined by three boundary lines and three inequalities. So we have to figure out what each of these inequalities is, and then we'll know the system of inequalities that this red area is a solution to. Let's start with the yellow one. On the yellow line, the yellow boundary line, you can see that it runs along the y value of 8. And no matter what x's value is, y equals 8. So the boundary line is y equals 8. And we've colored below the boundary line. We haven't colored above the boundary line. We've covered below that boundary line. And it's a solid boundary line. So. That inequality is y is less than or equal to 8. Now let's try the blue boundary line. On the blue boundary line, the x value is always 10. No matter what y is, for any y value, x is 10. So the boundary line is x equals 10. And we've shaded it in an area where the x values are less than 10. And it's a solid line, so the inequality is going to be x is less than or equal to 10. Now our third boundary line, the green one, crosses the y-axis at 0. So our y-intercept is 0. And our slope is negative 1, a rise of 1 and a run of negative 1. So our boundary line is y equals minus x. And we've shaded values above that line. So our inequality is y is greater than or equal to minus x. Well, that's our lesson on solving systems of linear inequalities. I hope you learned a lot. Now it's time to test your skills. Go to www.mastermath.info and you'll find worksheets and quizzes there to help make sure you understand this concept. Well, I hope you had a good time. I hope you learned a lot. And I hope you come again real soon.